it's pointless. Tiamat is primordial. The Mother Goddess will not fall. Not the mother goddess. She transcends even the concept of death. Yeah, pretty insane. Sukiyomi. Is Tayo dying too? Is she actually dying? Because she just like resurrects whenever she feels like it. Oh, Gami's back. My original form now is that what you're telling me oh Suzuki Yomi screwed no he's gone Young man, if you wish to live, take my hand. I think I found another thing I don't like about the Vengeance storyline. Do I really have a choice? Yeah, I'll take your hand. My being became Magatsuhi. I was absorbed by Tiamat. When she fell by your hand and reformed, my essence escaped hers. I have reclaimed myself. But when we were bound together, I learned something. As a primordial goddess, she is nearly immortal. Yet her divinity is rooted within her identity as a dragon. If you seek to best a godly dragon, You'll need a godly dragon slayer. And so, my power is yours. Algam is cool, don't now get me wrong, rise, but like. Young man. This time we end it. This kind of cheapens his sacrifice a little bit. Oh, I guess we're back to Algami fuse. I do like this music in the background. Oh, he's using Murakumo, like a giant Murakumo. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like this. I mean, this is cool looking, but I don't, I'm not really, I don't really like that they brought Aogami back. Him dying kind of felt like it was a good way forward and like, it matched the vengeance theme and it just kind of felt like the way forward. I don't like that they killed off Tsukuyomi and now Aogami's back. Don't get me wrong, Aogami's cool. Tsukuyomi's cooler, but like... I don't... I don't like this that much. This is honestly one of the low points of the vengeance storyline for me. Even if you slay Tiamat... It's not over. Maybe we are just gonna fight Lucifer again for the final boss. I mean, we still have one more boss to go, but we're probably just gonna fight Lucifer again. Also, I'm back to my original Say. form, which I mean, this this form is cool, but like, it's it's obvious which is the cooler form. I the the Sukuyomi form like grew on me design wise. 
I can sense some immense power within Yoko. We should probably prepare what we can. Serpent's Grave Altar. I can move on here and I'm not locked to the end of the game. Right, chat? There's one more boss to do. Oh, I can't go to the Demon's Haunt. There's one more boss to do besides the final boss, right? Am I understanding that right? If so, I want to do it. I just want to do everything before the final boss real quick. I'll talk about it more in the credits, but I really don't like... I really don't like that they killed... First of all, that they killed off Tsukuyomi and that Algami's back because his death was like... His sacrifice kind of like elevated the story and like the... Just the vengeance theme in general. Because I was talking about the vengeance theme. It's really prevalent in the later half of the game, but like... Algami being back kind of cheapens it a little bit. And also, it kind of makes me think, like, what was the point? Stay alert. What was the point? Like, oh, yeah, we're going to give you Tsukuyomi just before... Just while Algami's, like, not dead, apparently. Just was absorbed by Tiamat, and he can just come back. We're just going to give you Tsukuyomi, like, temporarily, basically. I I'm not really a fan of it. I as a goddess of creation. I summon deepest void, the living abyss. What you doing there, Yoko? Your goddess design is so awesome, though. There's a lot of reasons I don't like that they brought back Algami. The point is, I don't like it. Come, chaos. Envelop this world. To home. Rise up! It's probably like the worst part of the Vengeance storylines. I have a couple of little like nitpicks and issues with the, maybe not issues, but I have a couple of things like that aren't positive about the Vengeance storyline, but like the one that beats all is definitely this. Like the idea of Tsukuyomi dying and Algami being back. That's definitely like the worst one. Also not getting a choice, but that, that's a gameplay thing. And apparently when you're neutral, you get a game choice, but. I'm still mad about that. Don't get me wrong, I'm still mad about it. I'm over it, but I'm still thinking about it. What is this, the start of Akira's chapter in Live Alive? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? 84, huh? Yeah, this is certainly the designs of all time. Here we go. Go, come here, go. Don't I always? Abyssal beckoning. You put a grab to sleep. She's watching? She is watching. Get in here, Nua. Oh yeah, you get the charge effect when you switch Odin now. I forgot about that. That's incredible. Here, I don't want a grapple to be asleep. She has a concentrate ready. Nice. Now for the Queen's Decree. This is just a simple, like, one target boss fight. No unique gimmick, just a fight. Now die. 
Have a concentrate ready. Your fate's already sealed. Yeah, I mean, like you can you can say like, oh, they had to do it for this reason, or like it messed with the like the myth stuff and everything. But like, I mean, it's still kind of lame. Oh, you're weak to ice. Good on me. I still don't like it. I mean, there could be a reason for like, oh yeah, this is why it is, or like it had to match some kind of theme or something. But like, I mean, I don't think it's gonna suddenly change my mind. Overall, it doesn't like it doesn't ruin the game. The game is still fantastic and the storyline's still good, but it is the worst part of the story for me personally. Uh debilitate. That's what I brought you in for. I also didn't mean to skip your animation, but I did. Concentrate. Your affinities resistances change. They do that? It's a good thing I hit you with Moonlight Frost while you were weak to Moonlight Frost. Ow. Hey, now he'll be here. You suck. I don't necessarily mind being back to this form. This form still is like, it's a classic. <laughs> but I am a bigger fan of the Sukiyomi form. It grew on me like really fast. My aim is true. talk about it all day but like it doesn't ruin the story by any means the game is still fantastic 1100 um storm dragon trick for Google try to get a crit dang it they have a lot of HP <laughs> you're bulky and I'm like four levels higher than you three levels higher however much you're not weak to ice anymore you did say you changed your resistances and affinities. Any last words? <laughs> now die. Let's get to concentrate with the Ikiyumi because it is a magic move. No, my debilitates! My debilitates. Hate you. You ready? Well, we going, crits. Your fate's already sealed. Yo ho. You have so much HP. Your HP is like barely moving. Hate it. <laughs> right, need more concentrates. Stop. I didn't even use like a single thing on you. I could debilitate. To home is watching. Didn't you know? I'm swatching the Naho. I'm swapping the Naho Biho out. Let's get higher Taro charge, maybe. Although I'm only Let's level go. 77 on him. He's beating the wind. Oh, you are nice. It works. It works. 
Call more turns. I only have one more of these though. I still have a concentrate on Naho B, huh? Naho B, no. So much HP. Didn't even like heal or anything. It's HP. It's HP is just moving really slow. Come. And I'm like three levels higher than that. I wonder if whatever you use is your weakness. Is this that kind of boss fight? You were using ice a lot when I hit you with Moonlight Frost. So, we can test that theory. I would just need a wind user. Put Nua back in. Let's go! Beat Hayatoro with a charge effect. And an attack boost. Yeah, 900. HP still barely moves. Oh, you have Floral Gust. No, you absorb whatever you use. You absorb ice and... Oh, wait, you're not changing your weaknesses. You're only changing your... No. You were weak to wind or, or water at one point. I hit you with Moonlight Frost and that was your weakness. Whatever, debilitate. If we don't debilitate, this boss takes seven years. But it uses Dakunda, so... like the crit I know it's gonna use the Kunda like like I know it's gonna do that are the beast considering like overpowering for this boss because this is like it's taking seven years it's taking so long it's not really difficult it's just taking a really long time its HP is like barely moved yeah, it's gonna use Dakunda all the time, so debilitate's like out of the question. I might need to use like maybe Tides of Chaos or something to whittle it down a bit. Let me try something. I do like one debilitate, and maybe Tides of Chaos will do something. It moved a little bit. the lightning yep that was a good guess by me get a wolf defense is down Almost free. Use a wind move. Nice. Okay. What now? What now? Fire? Fire. Who's got fire? Who's got fire? Hansu Ra does. Trumpeteer? He's dead. Maybe just get a Grodd in and do a, um, Queen's Decree, even though she's low. Your turn. Go! He did something. And she has Agadine, I just remembered, but I think Queen's Decree is better. Please. Please die! Oh my word, free me! The longer, thank you. The longer I'm doing this, the more I feel myself aging. 
that fight it was like a 30 to 40 minute fight it's as long as it took me to kill maruki and azathos and personified royal but the thing is that fight's actually fun that one is not oh my word it could have been really interesting with the way it was designed but it was way too long that no gimmick could save that fight <laughs> 